It's What to Read Wednesday, and this week I have a terrifying ghost story for you. It's called Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. Cass Lowood hunts the dead. So did his father before him, until he was gruesomely murdered by a ghost he sought to kill. Now Cass is armed with his father's deadly and mysterious blade. And Cass travels the country with his mom and his spirit-sniffing cat. He finds himself searching for a ghost locals call Anna Dressed in Blood. She's known for tearing apart anyone that sets foot in the deserted house she used to call home. Cass figures this will be same old, same old. Track, find, kill. But when he finally finds Anna, she spares his life. He totally second guesses everything he's ever known about ghosts. Will Anna be the most powerful and evil ghost that Cass has ever met? Or will they form an unbreakable bond? Just to warn everybody, this book is scary. And there are some parts that are gory. I would not recommend this book if you are faint of heart or you get squeamish. Otherwise, it's a great Halloween read to spook yourself out. I'm going to read a short passage. This is when Anna first appears to Cass. He's just coming to from getting his head hit, so he's a little foggy. I shake my head softly, still disoriented. I know who she is, I know her name, but I can't think of why I'm here. It occurs to me suddenly that I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. I can hear the repeated panicked prayers of Chase and Mike as they argue about whether or not to run or try to get me out of the house somehow. Anna is descending upon me coming down the stairs without taking any strides. Her feet drag horribly along like she can't use them at all. Dark, purplish veins cut through her pale white skin. Her hair is shadowless black, and it moves through the air as though suspended in water, snaking out behind and drifting like reeds. It's the only thing about her that looks alive. She doesn't wear her death wounds like other ghosts do. They say her throat was cut, and this girl's throat is long and white. But there is the dress. It's wet and red and constantly moving. It drips onto the ground. I don't realize that I've scooted back against the wall until I feel the cold pressure against my back and shoulder. I can't take my eyes off her eyes. They're like oil drops. It's impossible to tell where she's looking. But I'm not foolish enough to hope that she can't or hasn't seen me. She is terrible. Not grotesque, but otherworldly. If you like the sound of Anna Dressed in Blood, you'll be happy to know there's a second book, Girl of Nightmares. So come on into the library, check them out, get on Facebook, get on Twitter at HDHS Media Center, and let us know what you think about them.